Okay, so let's make some true cod. Uh, this is a dill crusted true cod recipe I've made over 100 times. My family loves it. It's super easy, it's fast, and it's delicious. So what I have in front of me is some true cod. I've got some dill, cumin, our citrus pepper rub, and some sea salt. Um, I've already uh, opened the, the true cod out of the package and it's thawed, and I've rinsed it and patted it dry with a paper towel. Now what's really unique about this recipe is, is you don't add any oil or butter to the fish. So here we go. I'm gonna season it with some dill. You could use fresh dill, I just use dried dill. I really like to put a lot of dill on mine personally, to the point where I'm kind of coating it almost, like this. Okay, wonderful. Another ingredient I like to add is some sea salt. I'm just do, do pinches of it, just kind of cover it. One of the most common mistakes people make when they're cooking seafood is they A, overcook it, or B, don't salt it enough. The next thing I like to put on is our citrus pepper rub, which is um, kind of a spite, a little bit of a spicy lemon pepper. Not too spicy, but it has a little teeny bit of a kick to it. But it's very good. And then um, some people that don't like cumin wouldn't add this, but I like to add a little bit of cumin too as well. Um, I like kind of the nutty flavor that it provides. But the key to this recipe in my opinion is just to make sure you have sea salt and dill on there. And that's it. Um, I've preheated the oven to 450, and you're just gonna cook this for, for 10 minutes on 450. So once again, I'm not putting any oil or any butter on the true cod. And you're gonna see how much moisture this fish has. It's just incredible. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 10 minutes at 450. There you go. And we'll set a 10 minute timer. When you have kids and you work a lot, you gotta have fast ones, right? Okay, great, our timer just went off uh, after 10 minutes. Let's check it out. It just smells incredible. Now be careful, it'll be hot, but you can see how much, um, how much juice there is still in the fish. That's why I don't add any oil to it. And I can plate some real fast. It's just so moist and delicious. And the way that you could tell that it's cooked too is you open it up, it should be kind of flaky and the same color cooked throughout. But true cod is a really great lean fish that is delicious. So there you go, dill crusted true cod.